going on YouTube how are you doing today I am blowing up my channel with video after video after video I'm on a roll guys and I'm doing it for you because I love you right now I'm gonna try and film a little bit of putting on the new wheel <laughs> putting on the new wheel luckily the cassette is already on they did that at the bike shop for me hopefully they did it correctly uh, let's see I have all my parts here I stocked up on some tubes a while back and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a new tube in there while I'm at it uh, a new chain got my pump ready my Loctite my chain breaker all that good stuff is ready to go it's just a matter of getting going um, I'm probably going to just do the wheel today I'm probably gonna do the chain tomorrow um, this is the trickiest part for me uh, I'm lucky that I do only have a one by so you know I know I gotta get it here and get it there right and get it measured and all this stuff I know I gotta do it like that and it does come with the with the master link and everything and when I was a kid riding BMX I would change a a chain out and not think twice about it um, some reason it was it didn't scare me then I'm not really scared but I just don't want to screw it up because then you screw it up and <laughs> you gotta go find another chain uh, and then that means I gotta go out of town to go get another chain so I'm gonna flip the bike over get things ready to go and then start the camera back up I hope we can do this guys say a prayer will you alright let's get this wheel off of here buns in the camera Whew. well it's a dirty chain Ooh, it's a dirty cassette. now I'm not gonna lie guys it's been a while since I I've washed my bike, cleaned my cassette and my chain and all that stuff as best I can and all that. It's been a while and boy is it bad looking. Ooh. Look at all that gunk. Chain. Probably can't see it because of lighting, but I'm just a little bit embarrassed. So let's get that taken care of. <clears throat> Alright guys, got the wheel off. It's ready to go. Got my little tool here to get my rotor off. Um, remember when you're doing this to try not to contaminate your rotor too much. Uh, you can clean it off. It's a lot easier to take care of a dirty uh, disc rotor than it is dirty pads. So just try to do your best to not get it contaminated too much. I did go ahead and uh, make sure these were going to come out. I kind of I kind of broke them loose off camera with no problem they they came they came loose easy
and just make sure you put them somewhere where you can find them or they don't roll off cause any problems I really should just take my skewers off. Shouldn't I? Let's go and take the skewer off. If and I can. Without losing anything. There we go. That'll make it a little easier on me. Get the rest of the bolts out. There it is. Okay. Let's continue this. Okay. There you have it. Easy stuff. Nothing major. Got that taken care of. Now what I will do before I put that back on is I'm going to clean it up real good with some degreaser, some uh, uh, isopropyl or whatever it's called. Rubbing, I call it rubbing alcohol. Uh, I got some of that that I use to clean stuff. I'm going to soak the little screws. Soak the little screws real good and clean them up a little bit. And... Uh, of course, whenever I install all that again, I'm going to put some uh, some more Loctite on there. That's good to do that with those type of parts. So, let's continue, guys. Alright, we're just going to let the air out. Let some air out if we can. If this one will do it. I think I got it set up for the other... And there goes the cat. Make sure you squeeze out the air real good. There it goes. That's still. Bead didn't want to break. It was sat pretty good. Pretty good little old tires. Let me get my little tire levers. Now I don't know how good these tire levers are. I just took them out of here. It came with them. I have a couple of other ones. I don't have nothing super expensive. All my stuff's pretty uh, budget friendly. Been good tires so far. Ouch. Oh, come on now. There it is. Now I'm not gonna mess this rim up or anything. Cause you never know if that new rim's gonna fit or not. You never know. So I'm not gonna do nothing to that. And a lot of people might would just go ahead and use the same tube, but it's been in there for quite a while now. Uh, I haven't had any problems out of it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a, uh, a new tube in there just for the sake of having a new tube, and hopefully it'll be okay.
So I'm going to go get a little rag. I'm going to wipe out the inside of this tire and just uh, make sure it's clean. Alright, we're just going to run a rag around the inside of this tire just to make sure it's okay. No complaints with this tire. It's been pretty good. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and get the tube. Oh, I wish the stem wasn't quite that long. But it'll be all right. Hopefully it's a good tube. Now, I personally like to put just a couple of things of air in there. First. For me, it just helps to keep the tube. I do it differently than, than some people do, but I like to put my tube inside of my tire and then go from there. And uh, for me, if I put just a little air in the tube, it helps to keep it seated in the tire properly. Everyone does things a little differently. There we go. And very importantly, do not forget to uh, find your rotational direction on your tire. I've already found mine. Uh, I got it marked somewhere. <laughs> but uh, it's ready to go on. Just make sure you look for it and you figure out which way your wheels rotate and all that and put your tire on appropriately. Should be there it is. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put the tire on the wheel. Remember to make sure that you get your wheel and your tire rotating the proper direction. You'll see that the arrows in that on the tire and you'll figure it out. to do is get this little nut here do it like that just so the tube can't pull back out Sometimes it could take you a minute to get things situated and figured out, but it goes pretty good. Ouch. Ooh, boy. 
I didn't have to use a tire lever or nothing, boy. It just popped on its own. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Okay. I will say something that I like about this new wheel. Now, I don't think it's really any better, any, uh, better quality than what came on the bike. Uh, probably. I don't really know. But uh, what I like about it are the spokes are black. Probably can't tell. But the original spokes on the, on the rally are uh, silver. But uh, I like that blacked out look on this. It looks pretty cool. That went on pretty easy, guys. Pretty easy. Makes me a little nervous that it was that easy. Hopefully it seats properly. Kind of scary. The tire is a little, a little bit looser than what I would really like it. Hmm. I'm not gonna air it up all the way or nothing. All right. Boy, this tire is almost too big. Have you guys ever experienced a tire that was bigger than the wheel? I think I'm experiencing that. Huh. I don't know about that, guys. about that at all. All right. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. Put the rotor on the inside here. Okay, got the thread locker going. Now guys, what you want to do here is just get one in. Uh, you don't want to cinch them down all the way. Not yet. Okay. 
I want to make sure it has a little movement there. I'm going to go put the thread locker on all these, insert them all. Uh, again, you don't want to tighten them all the way down. Leave them just a little bit loose and then you stagger the way you tighten them. Like you might tighten here, then tighten over here, then tighten here, then tighten here and here and here. And then you just keep kind of going back and forth and going around and and make sure you uh, snug them up good. Now I don't use a torque wrench. You can use a torque wrench, but I know what to me feels tight. And I've taken it off before and put it back on a couple different times uh, in the past. So uh, I know pretty much what I'm doing, and you probably do too. Just getting them all in there. Again, you can take your skewer out if you want. Alright, now this is where I'm going to start doing a little tightening here. Tightening over here. that's where we're at for now uh, once I get it on the bike and I just go up and down my my driveway or something and test it out then I'm gonna go back and I'll go around the the uh, screws one more time just to make sure everything's good um, I am concerned about the tire um, I honestly believe I'm gonna have to go and get a new tire which really uh, blows my mind I've never seen a tire that's too big for the wheel that it's made for. So like I can do this right here. Now, I don't know if it'll stretch out and go back in whenever I air it up and try and get it seat uh, seated properly. But that don't look right to me. So that's kind of upsetting. Alright guys, got the wheel on. I think I'm going to have to... Fix my chain. Something. I mean, not fix my chain. I gotta put a new one on anyway, but. So guys, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave this video off at. You see what to do. you see seen what I did. Um, I'm going to blow this inner tube up and see what happens. And uh, I think I'm going to have to get a new friggin' tire. I've never seen nothing like that. But uh, not happy with it. Not happy with that at all. So I'll check back in a little bit and see what, see what I got going on. Alright guys, uh, I didn't film a lot of what happened, so I'll fill you in. Uh, once I put the wheel on and I had the tire on and all that, my big concern was the tire. You know, the tire looked too big. Still think it might be an issue, but it is seated. Uh, as far as I know, on the bike, I did ride it up and down in front of my house and 
just a little bit and uh but what had me concerned was once i got it all together uh my chain and everything was making noise everything was making noise and uh like it looked like my chain was crooked on the cassette if i went this way and crooked on the cassette if i wouldn't maybe you know all the way to the one side or whatever and it was just not doing right or something but uh i went ahead and did something i've not really done before and that is put my new chain on uh i didn't film any of that because it was uh, it would have gave you guys a heart attack like it did me probably um i did it a little bit unorthodox measuring the chain and everything but it turned out okay i believe uh, i initially before i put it on uh, and i had the old chain on i was messing with the uh limit screws and stuff of course you know i know how to mess with all that so it's not really a big deal let me change the battery it's going dead or better yet let me just draw power from a usb connection that i have so hopefully it'll keep recording um so yeah anyway i went ahead and broke the old chain uh got the new chain measured out how i did it um i set I finally got the uh, little master link on there and uh, yeah so anyway it seems to be running okay I'm gonna wait I'm gonna go out in the morning and I'm gonna test drive it and everything and make sure everything's okay like I said honestly my biggest concern now is probably my tire still but I'm gonna see uh, you have seen on the video that it looks kind of crazy it looks way too big um, it is on so we'll see uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more tire pressure in tomorrow uh, I really need a real pump but uh, unfortunately this is all I have so yeah well guys um, well I was gonna come over here and let you see it but uh, I'm tethered with the power anyway there's the bike new chains on I did clean the uh, front chain ring I cleaned it off pretty good and uh, I cleaned off the little jockey and pulley wheels and all that pretty good and uh, got them nice and clean so whew, boy that was a job I'm just gonna say that was that was never using I, I don't believe I've ever really used a chain tool so it was a little bit uh, crazy and I was completely black all from here <laughs> but it got pretty clean with just some Dawn soap and uh, anyways guys I'll check back in tomorrow and see what's going on with it and uh, I'll, I'll let everybody know possibly in the comments or I'll make another quick little video but anyway Project Rally Redux is on the go new wheel new cassette new chain So there we go so I'm gonna get this video edited I'll probably upload it tomorrow because I've already uploaded a couple today don't want to drive you guys too crazy with too many videos so guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh, I hope you learned something I hope I learned something uh, if you have any comments which I'm sure a couple of you will I'm sure a couple of you will Leave a comment down there. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know I do all this for free. Uh, no monetization, no ads. I do it all for free for you. Because I love you to death. Guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to get up, get out, get rad. And do it to it. We'll see you later. Peace out, my brethren.